welcome to Making It Artisan Stories. I'm Stacey T. from Stacey T's Treasures, and today I'm here with Lauren Page from L.A. Page Makeup. Hi, Lauren. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Lauren, tell me, how did you get started doing makeup? As a child, was it just something for fun? Did you go to school? Uh, give me some backstory. When I was younger, I never really got the idea of makeup from my mom or sister because they never wore any. Uh -huh. As I grew into my teens, I found YouTube when it was first starting, and, and this is where I found you know people applying makeup and teaching how to apply makeup. That's kind of where I first learned it, even for myself personally. Okay. So I took that, and this was also in high school at the time when I didn't really know what I wanted to go to college for, I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life, and I discovered, oh, people actually make money doing this. <laughs> I had no idea <laughs> before this. You know, I knew of hairdressers, but yeah. I didn't know about makeup artists. The summer before my senior year of high school is when I went to cosmetology school to get my makeup certificate, okay. and then a couple years later, I got a theatrical makeup certificate. And then oh. ever since then, it just kind of evolved into freelancing and continuing education you said the theatrical like we for like movies and productions or like any like the gory type stuff exactly those type of things yeah so it's a lot of like the halloween type special oh, that must be a lot of fun it is it's definitely a lot of fun yeah. after i'm done with bridal season and all like the yeah. typical natural makeup yeah so what do you prefer do you prefer making somebody look beautiful or making somebody look scary I actually prefer the beautiful, glamorous makeup. You know, the the average, so to speak, makeup I that see, you I would see. you would wear to a wedding, a prom, a party, things like that. It is fun to branch out every now and then with the the gory stuff. Yeah, I bet, I bet. So seven years you've been doing this. Yes. Is this it for you? Is this something that it's been your dream and you're gonna go? This is gonna be it. This is your career. This is your livelihood. Yes. Do you foresee like owning your own shop? having team underneath you or do you always want to be a, a solo artist how, how do you foresee that this is definitely my passion this is my number one in my life this is what i always want to do i you know i discovered that as i got into it and i went to college and i had odd jobs part-time jobs all this stuff yeah. and i just always made my way back to it mm -hmm. it never left me i always constantly did it on the side until it grew into something more and I could do more full time. I definitely want to do this, you yeah. know, long term and I do aspire to have, you know, a full service salon someday with some team members under me, some hairstylists, estheticians, the whole the whole thing. Nice. Um and that would be just amazing for me and eventually, fingers crossed, I'd love to have my own makeup line. Oh, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. That's a yes. great goal. Absolutely. Now, do you do hair too or no? I do not. So I So you had your own, you would have other people for that specialty. Correct. I never went to full-blown cosmetology school to get the license because in Connecticut you don't have to to do makeup. Oh, okay. Um, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, I never wanted to do anything with hair. It's just not my forte. So luckily, I you know we're in this state where I didn't have to. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I never knew that. Yeah. Yeah. That's good to know. Tell me, uh, do you do this in your home? Do you go to people's homes, or, or how do you work it? I'm located in Meriden. I have an in-home studio that I work out of for now. Then that's where they come for like bridal trials, prom makeup, Halloween makeup, the kind of one makeup uh, application visits. Okay. And then I travel to them on the wedding day. So I've traveled throughout New York, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. I was going to ask you, you go out yeah. of state. Yeah, yeah, I wow. do when you know when it's necessary when they want me to. I'm primarily in Connecticut, but I'm happy to travel as well. I would assume that the out-of-state ones are probably people that you know that live in Connecticut that are having like destination weddings, that type of deal. Sometimes, yeah. or sometimes they just follow me on Instagram and really? then they that's get awesome. engaged and then they happen to be in Rhode Island, but then they want me to come out, so. That's great, yeah. that's great. You must get a lot of um, family and friends being like, oh, hey, Lauren, you know, if you're not busy, can you come on over and, uh, you know, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm very fortunate though that I do have some friends that they support my craft and they don't just look to me to say, hey, can you just yeah. do my makeup every weekend for free? Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, they definitely don't take advantage of me, which is very nice. I have some a nice core group of friends oh, that's that good. fully support that's good. my business, which is nice. That's good. Tell me about well, what do you foresee for a makeup line? Are we talking everything from the foundation and up, um, a specialty that you prefer? like highlighters or lipstick, is there something that's your favorite that you like to play with the most? 
I definitely want to create a full range line with all of the different products that you see. Um, I do love, you know, the things like highlighters seems to be fun nowadays. Yeah. I love bold lips, things like that. But it definitely would be an array of all the different things. I also want to make sure that it's vegan and cruelty free. Oh, excellent. That's pretty important to me. Uh, so I hope that I can make that happen. Yeah, it I seems am seeing, very popular now and yes. it's easier to, to come across products that are that way as exactly. opposed to ones that aren't. Exactly. Yeah. So I figure by the time I'm ready to do it, then it'll be a reality. That's which great. Would be great. Have you ever done anybody famous? I haven't really done people who are famous right now. However, I've done people that possibly with the rate they're going, who knows, maybe, you know, five, ten years down the line, they'll Excellent. be more well known. And you could say when you're watching it on the big screen, you can be like, I did their makeup. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. And now you have a, a nice support system at home. My parents have never really understood how makeup can become a career. Okay. You know, it is a little bit more of, um, it's more artistic and more different, unique. However, they've always been supportive of whatever I wanted to do. Well, that's good. So that's good. Uh, my sister too. And then my boyfriend is also very supportive. You know, he's very, you know, whatever you have to do, if you have to work, um, you know, at 3 a.m. or yeah. whatever it is, he'll well, take care great. of the dog, and I'm, I'm good. That's so, great. That's yeah. great. Speaking of the dog, how about um, the uh, the dog line of nail polish? I hear that that's a thing now, too. I did. did yes. You, <laughs> yes, that's adorable. Right? How many faces have you painted in your life, if you had to guess? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hundreds? Hundreds. At least? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it really adds up over the years, especially if you're doing five to eight people per bridal party. All by and, yourself. Right, and wow, you do, yeah. you know, dozens of those or something over yeah. like a couple years or so. It really adds up. Now, have you noticed over the years um, changes in in the way you do things or uh, makeup changes and, and the ingredients and, and having to work with all that? Have you noticed there's a lot of changes that go on over time? Makeup is ever evolving. Is it? Yes. The ingredients, how it looks, how it's packaged, how it's sold, everything, like physically from the product to then how you apply it even is changing now. There's all these trends going on. Yeah. Social media has a huge influence nowadays. Absolutely. When I first started, it wasn't nearly as much of an influence and it wasn't even the same trends. So absolutely. I would say that there's different, you know, trends like the highlighter is more yeah. intense now days or the brows are fluffier when they used to be skinnier yes. and things like that um, or like we were saying with the uh, vegan cruelty free makeup that's becoming a lot more prominent now yeah, than it used yeah. to be so it's definitely always changing. Lauren do you have something you specialize in um, as far as your, your skills? So I really like the natural fresh faced beauty look. There's a lot of different makeup artists out there. Uh, some use a uh, heavier hand, some are light and fresh. So I'm kind of on that light and fresh side. Nothing wrong with anybody's style or yeah. anything. Um, as a matter of fact, I find that if people come to me looking for the type of style that I don't do as much, if I'm able to do it, I'm happy to do it. Yeah. But then I also can refer out to some of my industry friends if I find that their oh, style works Oh, that's great. So you're better. supporting each other. Yeah. So yeah. Your your favorite is the no makeup makeup look. Is what Pretty they call much it or now. a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So something very similar to this where this is very like a bridal look. It can also be a prom look for someone who likes light makeup, yeah. you know, a, a birthday look, something like that. But this is kind of what I specialize in. Okay. And there's other um, similar looks in here where they show yes, what I'm very of. Yeah, it's very faint but attractive it's, it's not correct on. it's enough where it's going to bring out their natural features i'm all about accentuating you know what i can play up on their actual face as well as bringing out their inner confidence that is the biggest thing to me is when someone comes in they will sit in my chair and then they'll say oh i never go out without makeup on i actually hate this i can't believe i did this today yeah. and then i'll put makeup on them and their confidence is just beaming when i give them the mirror that is why i do what i do well, to see yeah. exactly how radiant they get and how confident and they can bring that throughout their day whether it's a, a job interview or their wedding or whatever yeah. it is that is what makes this so great for me that's awesome that's awesome to hear and i'm sure that that even if they can't replicate exactly how you do it, I'm sure that even 
leaving there, they are able to sort of copy it on their own and get that same good feeling about themselves because of what you taught them while you were doing it. Right. That's right. that's amazing. That's awesome. Do you ever foresee you teaching? Is this something you'd be interested in doing? Teaching what you know to younger generations and, and maybe being their muse? I actually already do. Oh, you do? Um, yeah, I offer makeup classes. It's mostly one-on-one, -on -one, but I'd be happy to do like little group settings too. Um, this is basically where someone who's either an enthusiast or a beginner or they're looking to be an artist themselves, they come to me and they want to learn certain things. I like to cater these sessions to them. Oh, okay. So each... Um, you know, makeup class is different and you know, you may want to learn how to have the smoothest face possible and accentuate your brows versus the next woman yeah. wants to learn about how to do, you know, winged liner and something like that. I really cater it to each individual yeah. to make sure that they're getting everything they want out of it. Oh, that's great to know. Because yeah. I, I know that the YouTube videos, like you said, they're out there and everybody mm -hmm. watches them, but I think it's probably uh, a lot easier for people to learn hands-on when somebody's actually physically showing them and teaching them and and I imagine that they get a lot more out of that than just but speaking of YouTube do you make any of those I do you do yes I you know actually when I had first discovered it back in high school I then started making my own okay I actually had a YouTube channel before that that wasn't beauty related and that was just like montages and things like that to yeah. like celebrities I liked yeah <laughs> and then I made a makeup one and I started making you know videos about you know reviewing products or tutorials and things like that yeah. and to this day I still do it um, which is a lot of fun and it's it's just a fun outlet yeah. to be able to talk about like specific products or do a well, certain you, demo. You had mentioned reviews and that's huge for me mm -hmm. and, and especially for that type of product you know hair and skin and makeup and all that yeah a review of somebody who actually has used it is what I like to see more so than what they're gonna write on the package or what they're gonna tell me right when you've got somebody that's actually showing you what they're doing and how they're using it it definitely definitely helps somebody make a, a more conscious decision Exactly, yeah. and I'm, I'm thankful that I've had longtime viewers who they still to this day tell me that, you know, they trust my videos 100% because I am just, I'm, you know, authentic with it. I'm not yeah. trying to sell them something, and I will also review if something really needs improvements. I'll be completely yeah. honest about it. Yeah. That's great. That's great. And I'm sure it's been very helpful to a lot of people. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time to spend with us today. I, I think I learned a lot and I, I find it very interesting and I'm definitely going to be uh, checking out your YouTube channel and uh, following that. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Lauren. Thank you for having me. And thank you for watching Making It Artisan Stories. Tune in next time. And remember, when you shop small, you're supporting a dream.